Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this beanie. Uh, for this beanie, I used a 6mm crochet hook, this one right over here, a darning needle, and some scissors. Uh, but you can use whatever hook size you prefer. I also used Category 4 yarn in this color, um, in this light brown color. But again, you can use whatever hook or yarn you prefer. Uh, the thicker your yarn is, the thicker your beanie is going to turn out. So just go ahead and keep that in mind. And if you'd like, you can use a measuring tape, but it's not necessary for this project. Anyway, now that's all out of the way, let's go ahead and begin. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a slip knot leaving a few inches in the tail. Then we're gonna grab our hook. Again, I'm using a six millimeter crochet hook and we're gonna insert it into our slip knot. And now we're gonna start making our chain. So like I said in the beginning, the chain length is going to be uh, the length of your beanie plus a few extra inches so that you can fold the bottom part up when you wear it. So go ahead and make your chain length. For me, my chain length for a regular beanie is about 25 so I might do about 30 to 35 chains I'll go ahead and make my chain and I'll let you know how many I do for my beanie but um, you can chain however many you need uh, for whatever size beanie you will make so I'm gonna go ahead and make my chain and I'm gonna be right back okay so I'm back I've made a total of 35 chains and again, make sure your chain length is the length of your beanie plus however long you want the fold up to be. So let's say the beanie ends over here. This extra bit is going to be the part that folds up so you have that little, um, that little design at the very bottom of the beanie of it being folded up. So again, I did a total of 35, but you might have a different number of chains depending on whatever size you're making. So for me, it's about 11 inches. Um, the chain length is about 11 inches. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and move on with our beanie. So again, I have 35 chains, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make one more chain. So now I have 36. Again, you could have a different number. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skip that chain that we just made and I'm going to insert my hook into the chain right after. So again, skip the one that we just made and then insert it into the one right after. Then we're going to go ahead and yarn over and we're going to do a single crochet. That's your very first single crochet. And now we're just going to do a regular single crochet in each of the chain spaces until we get to the very end. I think it's a good idea to count how many you have just so you know what number to count to at the end of every round that we do. Um, so for me it's 35, for you it could be 25. Just keep that number in mind because that's going to be the number of stitches that we have at the end of every round. So I'm going to go ahead and do my single crochet stitches and I will go ahead and meet you once I get to the end of this round. Okay so I'm here at the very end of the first row and I just have one more chain space to go into. And I'm just going to go ahead and do a single crochet like I've been doing. And now to finish off this round, we're just going to go ahead and chain one and turn our work around. Okay, and now we're going to start round two. So for round two, we're going to go ahead and skip the chain that we just made. And we're going to be working into the back loop of the single crochet. So skip the very first chain and work into the back loop of the very first single crochet stitch. Um, and we're only going to be working into the back loops. So go ahead and insert your hook into the back loop only, like so. Grab yarn, pull through, and we're just going to do a regular single crochet stitch just in the back loop. Go ahead and find your next single crochet stitch and insert your hook into the back loop only and do a regular single crochet. Okay, and that's what we're going to be doing for the rest of the round. We are going to be doing single crochet stitches in every single back loop of the stitch. So go ahead and do your back loop single crochet until you get to the end of this row. Feel free to pause the video and I'll meet you when I'm done and I will get back. Okay, I'm almost done with this second row of single crochet stitches and I just have two more 
um, to do for this row. So I'm going to insert my hook again in the back loop and do a single crochet, and again in the back loop and do another single crochet in the last and final stitch. And this is what it should look like so far. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and chain one to finish off this row and turn around. Keep in mind that you can count how many stitches you have to make sure that you're not missing a stitch or if you're accidentally doing extra stitches. It's always good to count your stitches to make sure that you have the same for every single row. Okay, so we've chained one and now we're going to go ahead and work on row number three. And we're going to be doing the exact same thing that we did for row number two, which is work in the back loop only. So skip the first, uh, skip the last chain that we made, and then find your first single crochet, and insert your hook into the back loop only, and do a single crochet. Okay, and then just continue doing back loop single crochets for the uh, rest of this row. Feel free to pause the video, and I will go ahead and show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, I'm almost done with row number three. I just have two more spaces to go into. Again, only working in the back loops. We're going to be doing our single crochets. And I've made it to the end. And now to finish off, we're just going to chain one and turn our work. And from this point on, it's just going to be a repetition of the second row, which is a single crochet in the back loop only. And we're just going to continue making these rows until we have... Um, until it can wrap around our head comfortably. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the row a few more times. So we just chained one. We're going to skip that chain and we're going to go into the very first single crochet. And we're going to go in the back loop only. So skip the chain, find your first stitch, insert your hook through the back loop only, and do a single crochet. Next stitch, find the back loop only, insert, and do a single crochet. Again, we're just going to be doing back loop single crochets for the rest of the rounds. And then at the end of every round, we're going to chain one, turn our work, and then again, do back loop single crochets, and then repeat. So I'm going to go ahead and continue doing this row, and I'll go ahead and meet you once I get to the very end. And I will show you this repeat a few more times. Okay, I'm almost at the end. I have two more stitches left. Just going to continue doing back loop single crochets in those two. And then we're going to finish off this round like we normally do with a chain one. And then we're going to turn our work. And now we're going to skip that chain one that we made, find our first stitch, and work in the back loop only, making a single crochet. And then we're going to continue doing back loop single crochets for the rest of this row. Okay, I've got one more stitch left at the end of this round. I'm going to do a back loop single crochet, and then ending it off with a chain one, and turn. And we're going to go ahead and skip that chain one that we just made, find our first single crochet, and do a single crochet in the back loop only. Continuing doing back loop single crochets. So, this is what it looks like so far. You have this little, um wavy pattern and it's very stretchy too. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to repeat um, the back loop single crochet pattern throughout the rest of the beanie. So at the end of every round we're going to chain one, turn, and then we're going to do back loop single crochets until we get to the very end. We're going to chain one, turn, we're going to skip the chain, work into the very first single crochet, and then do a back loop single crochet in every stitch. Chain one, back loop single crochet, chain one, back loop single crochet, until you get the proper um, length for your beanie. And this should um, properly wrap around your beanie once you get to the very end. I'm sorry, this should properly wrap around your head um, at the very end, which I'll show you uh, when I finish my length. But go ahead and repeat that until it fits comfortably around your head, and I'll go ahead and meet you once I am done. Alright, I've just finished all of my uh, back loop single crochets, and I've done about 53 rows. Um, the amount of rows is totally depending on what size beanie you're making. Uh, just keep in mind that the length of your beanie should comfortably wrap around your head. So if you put this against your head, you can just 
stretch it out, wrap it around your head, make sure it fits properly. Um, and once you've made all of your rows to where it fits comfortably, um, we can go ahead and continue finishing off this beanie. And again, the amount of rows doesn't matter, it just needs to comfortably fit around your head. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab our hook once again and bring it through our um, piece of work that we're doing. So at the end of this row of back loop single crochets that we've done for all of these rounds, we should finish off with a chain one. And now what we're going to do is we are going to stitch both ends together. So to do that, we're just going to go ahead and fold this in half like so and we're just going to be stitching both ends together. Now you could do this with a darning needle or um, using with whatever method you would prefer, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you what I'm going to do for my particular beanie. Uh, so we've just gone ahead and chained one here at the very end, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my hook through the very first stitch, through both of the loops, like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to the opposite end of my work, so this part right over here. And I'm going to go ahead and find the very first stitch on this side, and I'm going to bring my hook through there, like so. So I've gone through the first stitch on both ends, and I'm just going to yarn over, pull that yarn through both of those stitches, and then I have two loops on my hook and I'm just going to do a regular single crochet. And that's just how I'm going to um, close off the ends of my beanie. So you're just going to go ahead and go through the very next stitch. So go through the next available stitch on this side. And then the next available stitch on the opposite side. Yarn over, pull through, and just do a regular single crochet. Okay, go through the first, the next stitch on this side, and then the next stitch on the opposite side, and then do a single crochet. So just continue doing this single crochet on both sides, and I will go ahead and meet you when I'm done. Feel free to pause the video. Okay, I am almost done stitching both sides together. I just have two more on both sides. So I'm just gonna go through the first one on the first side and then the next stitch on the other side and do a single crochet. And I just have one more, do that one more time and combine both sides together. Okay, and now both sides are joined. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and chain one and we are going to grab our scissors and we are going to be cutting a very long strand of yarn. I'd say about 24 inches. Um, you can eyeball it. This piece of yarn that we're cutting right now we are going to use to stitch up the top of our beanie so that it closes. So again, we've just chained one and I'm just going to go ahead and cut a long strand of yarn. Don't forget to chain one. And once I've cut my long strand of yarn, I'm just going to go ahead and pull it through that chain and then tighten up like so. Okay, and now this is where we stitched. This is how it looks like so far. And now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and stitch the very top together. Excuse me. And to do that, we're going to go ahead and grab our darning needle. Let me just zoom in really quick. There we go. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and grab my darning needle and go ahead and insert your darning needle um, or insert the yarn that you just cut through your darning needle like so. And now we're just going to go ahead and sew this together. So to, um, to sew the top of our beanie, what we're going to do is we're just going to go back and forth through all of the rows all the way around and then we're going to pull on it like a drawstring and that's going to close the loop. Okay? And so I'm going to go ahead and show that to you. So I have my yarn. I'm going to go ahead and bring it through one of the loops closest to where I fastened off. 
and I'm just going to pull that through. Then I'm going to find the very next loop, and it doesn't have to be exact where you place your um, yarn through, it just needs to be semi close to each other all the way around. So I'm just going to go ahead and insert my needle through the next hole that I see and bring it back the opposite way. And then I'm going to bring my yarn again, bring it through the front, and just basically go in back and forth all the way around. And as you go around, you can slowly tie or pull on your um, yarn that you're sewing because sometimes if you just weave it in and then pull it at the very end, sometimes it gets knotted and then you can't pull it all the way. So just go ahead and bring your needle back and forth and every couple of times you do that, go ahead and just give it a little pull. I'm gonna go ahead and do this all the way around. And I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video right over here but keep doing this until you get around and I'll show you what it looks like when I am done going in back and forth. Okay, I am getting closer to the end. So I started weaving it from over here and I've made it up to here. So I'm just gonna go in a few more times Okay, and so I've weaved it in back and forth through all of the tops of these stitches, and I'm just going to go ahead and give it a tug. So it should close like a drawstring. And this is what it should look like so far. You still have this little hole at the very top. And you're just going to give it a little bit more of a tug. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and weave in back and forth through these, um, through this hole to close it up. So we've gone ahead and we pulled on our drawstring. Okay, don't pull on it too hard or else the yarn will break. And now what we're going to do is we are just going to go ahead and sew this in back and forth. So take your yarn, bring it through one end, and since obviously you can't see the stitches very well, it doesn't have to be perfect, you just need to go in back and forth through the very top. So I'm going to take my the same darning needle attached to the same yarn, I'm going to bring it through one side, and then through the other, and I'm going to give it, and I'm just going to pull it through. Okay. Bring it through the opposite side, back through the front, pull it through. Make sure you do this tightly. Through one side and out the other. Okay, And you also want to make sure that your beanie is flat so your stitches come out semi-even. Because if your beanie is all weird, then the stitches aren't going to look as nice. Okay, So I'm just going to go ahead and go back and forth through the hole at the very top to close it off. Um, I'm going to go ahead and meet you once I get to the end of this hole. Feel free to pause the video. Okay, I just did my very last stitch. I'm just going to give this yarn a little pull and this is what it looks like. And now we're just going to fasten off and to do that you're just going to want to go through one of the stitches around where you finished off bring your yarn through and you see that this loop is being formed you're going to take your darn needle bring it through that loop and then tie it up and I like to do that a few times just because I want to make sure that my work is completely fastened off and after you're done doing that you can snip it off or you can take your darning needle and go through a couple of stitches um, of your work that you've already done just to make it completely fastened off but this is just an extra step that I like to take um, you don't have to take this step but I'm just gonna go through a couple of stitches 
just to make sure that it is nice and secure. And then I'm just going to fasten it off one more time. Okay, and then I'm just going to snip off my yarn. And so we've just sewn... We've just sewn this at the very end. We still have this little strand of yarn. Um, this strand of yarn could either be at the bottom or at the top, depending on what your last row that you did. Um, mine just happens to be at the bottom. But we've sewn on one side, and then we stitched on this side. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just hide this tail. So go ahead and grab the same darning needle that you used, and attach it to this yarn. And just go ahead and bring that yarn through a few stitches and fasten off. So I'm just going to bring it up through these stitches. Make a few knots. And just bring it through a couple more stitches for good measure. And then just cut the rest off, making sure not to accidentally cut the work that you've done. And now, again, we've stitched this side, and then we stitch the top, and now we're just going to go ahead and flip it inside out, where this is going to be the proper side. And fix your beanie up a little bit, and then just fold it upwards. And here is your beanie. You can just fluff it up as much as you would like. And that is how you make this beanie. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about this video, feel free to let me know in the comments below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. I do need some ideas for future videos. Uh, so any comments that would give me some sort of idea would help. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you again soon.